Hello, here we will talk about the relative measures of dispersions. As we know, measures of dispersions is two types. First one is the absolute measures of dispersion. Second one is the relative measures of dispersion. So here we need to understand what is the relative measures of dispersion. So what is the relative measures? When the data is in different units, in such a situation, we may use the relative dispersion. A relative dispersion is independent of original units. If we are taking two groups, first one has a different unit, second one has a different units. So that means independent of original units. Generally, relative measures of dispersion are expressed in terms of ratio percentage. The relative measures of dispersion are as follows. It is basically four types. First one is the coefficient of range. Second one is known as the coefficient of mean deviation. Third one is the coefficient of variation. And fourth one is the coefficient of quartile deviation. So first of all, we need to understand range. How we'll get the range? So if we have a data, given data set, so first step, we'll arrange it ascending or descending order. Then we find out minimum value in given data set. Then what is the maximum value in the data set? Then we'll subtract highest value minus lowest value, which is range of given data set. And we can say 34 is the range or spread of this set of data. This is the basic set. But our aim is to find out the coefficient of range. For that, we apply the formula range means highest value in given data set minus lowest value in given data set. Divided by highest value plus lowest value multiplied by 100. And for ungrouped data so we we always we are aware group data and ungrouped data so here if we have a ungrouped data then same formula as same we have discussed here same thing we can write like this range divided by highest value plus lowest value multiplied by 100 same thing notational format we can write down like this xh means highest value and xl is lowest value. So this is the formula. Now we have to understand with help of the example. Suppose this data is given, this observation is given. First step, we'll arrange it in ascending and descending order. And then we'll find out the highest value in given data set, which is 20, lowest value in given data set, which is 5. Then we can write the coefficient of range formula. As we know, range divided by highest value plus lowest value multiplied by 100. We'll put the value here and we'll calculate simply and it would be the 60% of coefficient of range. Now, next points we need to understand coefficient of range for group data. So in group data, how we'll calculate? So we can calculate the same range in numerator and denominator. XU means upper boundary of the highest class and XL means lowest boundary of the lowest class. Same way, notational format we can write down here and, and we can get the coefficient of range. Now we have one example we can understand if this is the age in years given 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and maximum 70 to 80. So this is 10 to 20 is known as the lowest class interval and this one 70 to 80 is the highest class interval so and for each class interval frequency is given so this is the hypothetical data we can understand the steps for calculation just so upper boundary of the highest class so this is the upper boundary of the highest class which is the 80 and the lower boundary of the lowest class which is the 10 here this value is given as we know the coefficient of range formula range divided by upper boundaries highest value plus lower boundaries lowest value put the value here as we know and once we'll calculate we'll find out the 77.78 percent 
78%, it is the basic stage for calculation to find out the coefficient of range. Now, next points we need to understand coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is the most commonly used measure of relative measures of dispersion. It is 100 times of a ratio of the standard deviation of the arithmetic mean. It is denoted by C mean. So, we can find out sigma divided by x bar multiplied by 100. This is simple meaning about coefficient of variation. But once few more points we would like to understand about coefficient of variation. So we can say 100 times the coefficient of dispersion based upon standard deviation is called coefficient of variation. So I, according to formula, coefficient of variation, yes, divided by sigma x bar as previous it was written sigma so once we are using the coefficient of variation for sample then we'll use the yes divided by x bar and if we are talking about the population if we are talking about the population then we can write sigma divided by x bar so this is the simple formula for uh, coefficient of variation. This is the standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100. And few more points we need to understand. Coefficient of variation is the percentage percentage variation in the mean standard deviation being considered as the total variation in the mean. For comparing the variability of two series, we can calculate the CV for each series. So meaning of that series having greater CB is said to be more variable than the other and the series having lesser CB is said to be more consistent or we can say more homogeneous than others. So this is the basic concept about coefficient of variation. Now we'll discuss about coefficient of dispersions. What are the coefficient of dispersion? This is the summary slide we would like to understand. So first point, as we discussed already, coefficient of dispersion based upon range, which is A minus B divided by A plus B, where A and B are the greatest and the smallest items in the series. Already we have discussed. Second, based upon quartile division. So coefficient of dispersion Q3 is upper quartile minus lower quartile divided by 2 divided by Q3 plus Q1 divided by 2. And here we can write Q3 minus Q1 divided by Q3 plus Q1. Here Q3 represents upper quartile or third quartile. Q1 represents lower quartile or first quartile. Now next one, based upon mean deviation, coefficient of dispersions we can calculate with help of mean deviation divided by average from which it is calculated. Already we have discussed mean deviation, how to calculate in separate video. Now next points, based upon the standard deviation, we can calculate coefficient of dispersion, sigma divided by x bar divided by 100. So these four points, whenever we are talking about the relative major measures of the dispersion, we need to calculate these four points, coefficient of range, coefficient of quartile division, coefficient of standard deviation, based on standard deviation, coefficient of variation, and this is the mean deviations. So this is all about relative measures of dispersions. Thank you.